Hi everyone, welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel. I hope you're healthy and doing well. On this channel, we cover the news, facts, and sentiments about the crypto market. We also interview many of the people investing in the market, such as founders and CEOs and many other hedge fund investors and so forth. I do have an interview scheduled with CZ, who's the founder and CEO of Binance, later tonight. The video should be up tomorrow, so make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button, guys. Also scheduled is Mark Yusko, who's the founder of Morgan Creek capital which is investing in crypto and uh first news guys bobby lee calls for bitcoin to reach an all-time high in 2020 so the bitcoin bulls are kind of coming out now with their predictions and we saw bitcoin moving in the right direction right it's back over seven thousand dollars the bitcoin having is coming up in may so let's see what happens i'm cautiously optimistic because we're not in a normal economic environment right the bitcoin uh having is coming up but you know you have a pandemic you have a recession taking place globally so let's see what happens i want the price to increase but I'm cautiously optimistic. So crypto exchange founder, Ballot Crypto Wallet Company CEO and founder, and a member of the Bitcoin Foundation's board of directors, Bobby Lee, sees soaring prices in Bitcoin's future. Lee expects, uh, said he expects Bitcoin to hit $10,000 by its block reward having in May. Uh, in a statement provided to Cointelegraph, uh, he also forecasted a $25,000 price tag by the end of the year, so December 2020. Let's see if that happens. I want it to happen of course um and here you know earlier in november 2019 he mentioned that he can see bitcoin hitting five hundred thousand dollars by 2028 so uh i'm certainly you know bullish on bitcoin and many other cryptos and i do believe the price will increase will it happen in this current environment as as we expect it i'm not sure that is what i'm not sure to be fully honest with you guys um but you know what what may happen and here's what i'm thinking is that it's not so much going to be retail investors like we saw in uh, 2017 because many folks right now are not really concerned about investing to be honest right they're kind of everybody's stuck inside they're concerned about toilet paper and all that right uh but the institutional money is what i believe will drive the price up because many of those folks are moving out of the stock market and other assets which are falling i mean they're they're just dumping right now and they move they may move to crypto because crypto is not tied to gdp or the economic movements and so forth i'm sure it, you know fear affects all markets but bitcoin and crypto is not wholly you know as much t as the other asset stock markets tied to companies and all those things right so keep that in mind so let's see if you know we can hit this price mark uh, i want to i want it to happen but i'm cautiously optimistic at this point now moving ahead ripple is expanding uh the xrp product roadmap they are hinting uh, here at future with three job openings so this is actually you know talking about uh, ripple spring initiative which is an investment um sector of the company that pushes for XRP adoption and development. So they invest in different companies to and try to get them to use XRP. So building different use cases. So the uh, Ripple is searching for a director of product management at Spring. Um, and once again, Ripple's XRP focused fundraising and development arm. The job application indicates Spring is looking to expand its role in growing the XRP ecosystem. Uh, whoever fills in the position will need to lead the XRP, excuse me, the Spring vision and identi identify strategic product opportunities to delight developers and grow product adoption. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. You know, I've said it many times Ripple and R3 are. In incentivize for the value of XRP to go up. In order for that to happen, they get to build utility and use cases. XRP is going to have multiple use cases, you know, obviously cross border payments, micro payments, ecosystems, marketplaces. So, uh, big things ahead. And we've seen Spring invested into gaming platforms and things along those lines. So, here's what Ripple said in the job description this role sits at the heart of defining Spring's product strategy. In close partnership with leadership and engineering you will own the product roadmap and help us define our future you will look beyond what already exists in the market to serve its evolving needs i like that 
I really do. Uh, the job reveals the company's ambition to build a trading platform connected to Ripple ODL. So that's obviously for the cross-border payments setup. So uh, that is what they're trying to build. And, and I've been on record saying CBDCs are going to benefit from this. As the World Economic Forum um, report had highlighted, XRP is a wholesale solution for CBDCs. And, um, you know, we also see here Ripple, they're also recognizing that this pandemic is causing many central banks and governments around the world to fast track their CBDC development to move to a more digital uh, setup of money movement, right? So Ripple Executive says global payments shift underway an accelerated move to digital economy. Um, here, he it's Navin Gupta, by the way, um, who's He's, you know, managing director for the Southeast Asia, the Middle East and North Africa. And he's really saying, you know, this is causing a big shift in getting a digital fiat. And we see that world powers uh, are already on track, right? China, um, uh, you got the U.S. with a digital dollar and many others. So uh, I don't want to read through everything, but the, the, the summary here is that I think everybody's recognizing, okay, we got to move away from paper money. And this will all benefit crypto and validate the crypto asset class. They will be leveraging blockchain technology, of course, for these CBDCs. And on that note, uh, I found this very interesting, guys. Private companies could pay, uh, excuse me, play a role in digital currency issuance, Bank of England says. Hmm, one word that comes to mind here, one company, I should say, if you're talking about private companies, Ripple. And once again, I'm bullish on Bitcoin. As I stated here, I hold Bitcoin in my portfolio. I hold Ethereum XRP, but I'm looking at the facts and who is positioned, who is building, who's working with the central banks and the IMF, Ripple. Guys, you the facts are out there. R3 is a part of it as well. So the Bank of Imp uh, oh, the Bank of England is open to the possibility private cryptocurrencies may have a role in the future of money. In a webinar hosted Tuesday, Bank of England analysts working on the UK central bank digital currency CBDC initiative said there was a distinct possibility that private companies could play a much larger part in the issuance of and distribution of money. Although uh, Bank of England has already said Bitcoin and other similar cryptos don't meet the necessary criteria to be considered money, CBDC analyst Ben Dyson said that doesn't mean that it's impossible for someone to improve upon that technology and create something that is much better uh, or much better fulfills the qualities of money. Interesting, interesting stuff here. We've seen pr proposals over the last year from large technology firms, for example, to build payment systems and crypto assets that would function more as stable money. Want to know who they uh, certainly got a proposal from? Ripple and probably some others as well, guys. Probably JP Morgan jumping in there with a JPM coin. So let's see what happens. This is very interesting. And uh, the the crypto asset continues to grow. We're headed to the token economy. You're gonna have, uh, you know, money digitized and and token, uh, excuse me, assets tokenized. It's all coming together. Crypto and digital assets will be listed on stock exchanges. Book it now. So big things ahead, guys. So guys, what do you think about this news? I would love to hear your thoughts. You think we could see 10K by the Bitcoin halving and 25,000 by the end of the year? Certainly possible, but like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic because we are not in a normal in, you know, e economy right now. It's, a very, it's very crazy right now. So let's see, maybe institutional money drives us up. They move away from the stock market and other things and they get into crypto. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you.